Phenomenal. Um, so how can we help awaken both humanity and specifically youth with knowledge needed to heal and save humanity? Yeah, it's a tricky question. I mean, as with things like the vaccine seemingly weakening the aura and things like electrosmog and metal buildings and big city weakening the aura and the design of food, loss of genetic diversity seemingly weakening the aura, fewer and fewer children then able to lucid dream. You know, <laughs> the, Absolutely. The, the stress is on to find a way to teach the kids that in fact, if you don't get a big aura, you're toast. Hello. <laughs> yeah. and so it's time to teach the kids the, the value of what it is to build their aura, their cocoon, their call it awakening or ascension. There's so many words for this physic, the ka from the body, it's, it's called the rainbow light body. It's called the ascension body. There's many names for this, but now that we know the physics, it's a longitudinally coherent charge bubble that you can take with you when you die. It was so instructive when we measured the kids who were able to see without their eyes, and we were gonna talk about this anyway, but so this is flameandmind.com, our brainwave software. We're teaching kids to see without their eyes, flameandmind.com slash outer vision. And kids who can see without their eyes is well known and famous and practiced in dozens of countries. What we've done is measure the phenomena and teach the physics. So we, we've interviewed dozens of kids who their, their eyes are closed, they're blindfolded, and they go into a trance kind of bliss experience. And then they all report the same thing they see a little tunnel open inside their head and they look through that tunnel and they can see through it. It's literally a little vortex. It is a plasma tornado, which is the physics of what consciousness is. Absolutely. Because now we can know exactly there's famous medical doctors who've seen, who've traveled outside their body during near death experience. So many medical doctor, doctors have documented taking their eyeballs outside their head during near-death experience. So no physicist can deny that you can take your eyeball outside your head. It's well known. They even know where you're looking from in the room when you're outside your body looking at the surgeons drilling a hole in your skull during your near-death experience. And by the way, you can't see from inside an aluminum box. Never. You can only see from a place where plasma can form a tornado. Mm -hmm. vortex. And the center of that tornado is the eyeball, as evidenced by the kids, who when their brainwave harmonics, it's actually a cascade from alpha to gamma, about mm -hmm. 8 hertz up to about 40 hertz, that cascade, when there's golden ratio and octave components in that cascade, it, what happens inside the child's head is they've grabbed a hold of the vortex tornado and squeezed it. And that compression phenomena brings that vortex to a point called an eyeball and that is the physics of vision it's the true physics and the only real physics of consciousness you know bill tiller measured focused human attention causes charge fields to compress we are the first one to teach the physics of why focused attention is implosive because that's the centripetal force and that's how a draco mind meld with an orion queen mod creates this huge feels like a vice-like grip the measurement of how powerful is your consciousness is literally how centripetal it is. It's obvious. That's what causes a seed to germinate. You can make a seed germinate by making that electric field. Therified and that is bought by now the lead biodynamic agriculture people because we can make a seed grow the same way we can design a building which makes a seed or a child grow by making that centripetal. So that is the importance of teaching the science of consciousness and bliss and to young people it's teachable. It's fun.